Hi everybody, this is Dreamer, DreamersInkArt.com. Hey, instead of doing statues, um, obviously, as I usually do, um, this is going to be uh, focusing on the comic book side of my collection. And this is what this last, I'd say this last two to three weeks finds. Um, and for those that recognize these, You'll see why I'm excited. Granted, these aren't like, you know, Spider-Man number one. I mean, but for me personally, as a uh, small time collector, um, I'm totally stoked. Like, I am absolutely stoked. So, simply, you know, simply put. Um, uh, I don't even know where to start. Like, this is it. Like... Here we have Spider-Man uh, number um, 18. Um, not that this is like a key issue, but it's like the second or third appearance of Sandman. So it's an early appearance of Su uh, Sandman. Um, <laughs> it's just awesome, man. I don't, I don't have any uh, old artwork like this, you know, or comics. So, and the other ones I got was um, uh, number 12. And this... Um, if I'm correct, was the first time um, Spider-Man got unmasked. This is the first time that he ever got unmasked. Issue number 12 um, by uh, Dr. Octopus, Doc Ock. So it's a key issue in that right. So totally far out, man. I'm just like totally stoked about that. So, So how much more excited can I be? This was the issue that dragged me in to meet with this gentleman selling out of a storage unit. Yeah. The first appearance of Electro. <laughs> that's, that's fucking awesome, man. Totally. Like, it just, yeah, can't even, I don't even know the adjectives to use to describe it, my excitement. One, because I'm a huge Spidey fan um, and a collector. So, and to get a key issue, you know, issue number nine, you know, I mean, to me, that's a big deal. To me, that's a huge, you know, um, huge collector, but I'm a, you know, small town budget, if you will. So, and then I'll tell you the price after all this is all said and done, then you'll see why. So, yeah, it's one of those. But, I mean, look at the condition. I mean, just, <laughs> so there's Electro. And then to top it off, well, not top it off, but issue number 20. Yeah, Scorpion. Now, I, uh, what's his real name? Someone want to post in the comment section? Is it Mark Gargan or something? Or... Um, but you see him, oh, uh, spoiler alert, um, five, four, three, two, one, spoiler alert, you've been warned, if you obviously haven't already seen Spider-Man Homecoming, you know he, he approaches Michael Keaton, um, who plays Vulture, um, at the end of the movie, so, uh, post-credits, so, but that too, Mark Gargan, um, if I'm, if I'm fucking his name up, somebody please correct me and shit, all right? So it's all good. I got a fucked up voice right now. I just was excited to share this because I even went out there feeling like this. Um, yeah, just to try to make a deal. But anyways, there is a scorpion. And, and also, if, if I remember correctly, in one of the storylines, doesn't scorpion get a hold of one of the symbiotes to become Venom? Like, doesn't he buy it or something? So, I can't remember. So, if somebody does remember, then just put it in the comments and educate me. Um, I don't like to Google everything. I like, you know, when people explain it to me or inform me because it's kind of cool that way. Like, I feel like I retain it better. I don't know. Shit. That's just my process. 
thinking. But anyways, Scorpion's first appearance right there. And I mean, look at the condition. It's just awesome. Totally stoked. So this is all in the past two and three weeks. More closer to the two weeks. And also pulled this out of the... Out of the box. This one's in immaculate condition. I was totally stoked about this one. See, I was like just so excited when I saw like some of the comic books he had. And this has the tattoos in it. Not like um mine over there. That one's in awesome condition too. But it doesn't have the Tattoos and this one does it's so awesome because I'd never seen them really, you know um, and then uh, 252 Also Awesome condition should have seen the uh, Poly bags he had these in they were sticking to each other like, you pull one comic apart, you, if you weren't careful, it was bending it, you know, because that's how sticky it was. But this one's awesome condition. And then, another issue. There you see it. Oh, sorry. Be very careful here. Sorry, again, if, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm not about special effects and fancy intros or any of that stuff. Just... Kind of film it as I go because I'm an everyday collector, but um, here it is. Shocker. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, I guess I should, probably should have done that, but obviously he's in Spider-Man Homecoming. And here he is. His first appearance, issue number 46. March. That's awesome. My birthday month. And it's March 4th, so look at that. There's a four. But, um... <sighs> There it is. And look at the condition of this one. Can I get out of the light? It's a little bit beat up, but not, not what I've seen before, you know? Look at the smoothness. So, yeah. Shocker. Totally stoked. All right. Now we're going to move on to the, some... Ones I don't have framed. I put these all in Mylar bags and whatnot, but here's a um, Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man 1. Oh, the Invincible Iron Man. This is a king size special. Um, he also uh, had a number 298. I could have swore I got 299, so um, that'll go good because there's my 300s. And then, let me scoop these back. And then he actually had the, the Twilight 3. I've always, this one's got like kind of a beveled, beveled look to it. I don't know if you can see that, but see how it's beveled? How it's got a little bit of intentional engraving, embossing, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool. This one, I've always loved this cover, and a lot of people I know that have Green Lantern in their collections have this issue. Um, it's just the rings. It's pretty. <laughs> There's something sick about that. It's pretty dope. So, and But here's first appearance of Kyle Rayner. So, um, that was awesome. So, he had all three of these. And the bags he had them in were not... Like, the bags should have been retired a long time ago. And then he had this one, issue 100. Now, the only reason I knew to pick this out was because I have... Isn't that right there? And I always wondered, you know, 
the comic book uh, if I was ever going to get it. So, lo and behold, here it is. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, this one shouldn't be in here. This was one I got myself on the way back from LA. So that's not, that's my mistake. Okay, and then there was this one, number 86. This one, what I found out was um, number 86 was, this was the first time Black Widow put on her new, you know, infamous black suit that she wears in the Avenger movies and all the comic book series thereafter. This was the issue that she revealed that. So that's a key, the sense of fashion. So whatever, right? So, but this one, um, cool, totally cool with it. And then, uh, last but not least, but not the least, and surely it is the last, Jonah Hex, number one, um, his first solo comic book run, not his first appearance, because that's in something else. Um, I can't remember the top of my head, but if someone knows, post in the comments, because I think I'm going to eventually want to get that one. But um, And I've seen this on the comics before. They have like that star. Did comic shops do that on purpose, or did some like a kid at home do that? So I've seen these stars, and I'm not really sure if it's supposed to represent like a key comic or, you know, so. But that's the most recent haul, people. And I know it's a little bit different um, of me not doing my statues, because for those of you know, you know, I like my statues, so. But anyways, um, I just wanted to share the comics because they go hand in hand. I get, you know, and um, this last haul. So the price, yes. Um, it averaged out per comic. Um, oh, geez. <laughs> um... I want to say it was about eight bucks a comic, seven bucks a comic. So, so go figure and couldn't resist that deal. Um, but anyhow, um, my voice is fucked up. So I apologize. Um, I'm trying to fight this and, but I just had to share the most recent find because I uh, just, and I'll start sharing more and more of my comics uh, when I do reviews on those as well, or my, you know, latest find and whatnot. Anyhow, thanks for letting me waste your time and time you're not going to get back uh, just to share my latest finds on comics. And again, I apologize for the voice, apologize for the crappy video because I don't do anything fancy, just, uh, <laughs> I'm just sharing what I got, guy next door type thing, so Anyhow, thanks for watching, and um, any comments, concerns, complaint, grudges, praises, shit, don't fucking like it, tell me, it's all good, I just, you know, just wanted to share. Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys later.